الملك المالك يا صاحب الملك الذي له الملك فهو الموصوف بصفة الملك وهي صفة العظم والكبرياء والقهر والتدبير الذي له تصرف المطلق في الخلق والأمر والجزاء وله جميع العالم العلوي والسفلي كلهم عبيد ومماليك ومضطرون إليه تفضل الملك the king الملك the master and owner الذي له الملك the one to whom belongs the dominion he is described to attributes of being the master and the owner these are attributes describing his grandeur glory and majesty omnipotence and his governance and regulation of the affairs asra asra we fast bismillah he is the one who directs all of the affairs to do with the creation command and recompense to him belongs the whole of creation all of it subservient to him owned by him and in continuous need of him فتعالى الله الملك الحق ولا تعجل بالقران من قبل ان يقضى اليك وحيه وقل رب زدني علما then high exalted be allah al malik the truth do not be in haste with the quran before its revelation is completed to you and say my lord increase me in knowledge so now the name malik and malik malik it is from what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has of milk ownership wa malik is from what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala possess of mulk of kingship of kingdom so one means owner the other one means king and both of them are affirmed for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala liman al mulk al yawm lillah al wahid al qahar on the day of judgment he's going to say in front of all of the first of the creation the last an al dayyan an al malik i am the judge and i am the king And it was going to become clear that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is the one that has permanent kingship and kingdom and ownership. As for our type of milk, our ownership is naqis. What we possess and own is just temporarily perhaps. It is deficient. It is owned by the ownership of Allah. It is to understand that he is Malik al-Mulk, the possessor and the owner of what is owned. So all you have is not really yours. That why, for that reason, it comes in the hadith, إِنَّ الرِّجَالَ يَتَخَوَّضُونَ فِي مَالِ اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ حق. There are people engaging wrongfully regarding the rights and the wealth of Allah without any right to do so. So it shows you even the wealth that we have is considered to be min malila the wealth of Allah that Allah has granted us. So we're just temporary owners to it in reality the main owner is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the word malik subhanallah al malik it in, what's the difference between malik and the malik al muqtadir indicates kamal al malikiya that he possesses in a consistent basis. Azalan wa abadan. There's never a time he wasn't a king, and there will never be a time where he sees not to be a king. He'll be ever be an owner and a king. For this reason, in Jannah, as he's referred to as in the Malikin Muqtadir. Even you have what you've earned and so hard, what you still have in Jannah, it is by his ownership. And this name, uh, it is, it instills hope and fear. And it instills to know that if you want something, you must seek it from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the possessor of the dominion. Biyadihi al-mulk, in his hands is the kingdom. 